Hi, I'm Jared Wojtovich, an automation engineer here with Minuteman Empire Automation Systems. Today, we're going to be doing an overview of a complete solution from Azrael, a leader in flexible feeding solutions. So first, we'll start off with the cube itself. Here we have the 240 model. However, there are five different sizes available. There is the 50, the 80, the 240, the 380, and the 530 variants. Now this dimension represents the diagonal in millimeters from point to point on the plate itself. Now with the 240 model, we have four voice coils, one in each of the different corners, and these are what allow the parts to be manipulated and positioned in the correct orientation and position that are optimal for picking. Now here we have the flat plate, however there are various different plate options. As you can see here, I also have a slotted plate, and then I also have a diamond pyramid plate that is great for parts that tend to roll. So this is considered their anti-roll plate. And there are various different options for plates for the various different sizes of cubes themselves. <clears throat> Additionally, we have Azrael's new Azifil system. So this hopper has a smart sensor that is incorporated that actually detects the load that's in the hopper itself. And it automatically adjusts the amplitude and frequency to optimally deliver the parts to your plate itself. Now, like the cube itself, the size of the hopper does scale. It goes anywhere between one liter and 14 liters. So there are those options available. Now the system that controls everything you see here and allows everything to operate seamlessly is the I plus controller. So when we talk about the iPlus controller, it's actually a couple different things. It's the 6.3 megapixel high resolution camera, the physical controller itself, as well as the calibration plate that you see here. Now all the different sizes do come with this calibration plate. If you do choose to use the iPlus controller, this actually just goes in place of your plate itself and allows the camera to calibrate and get your pixel to millimeter ratio, which is useful later on when you do your recipe programming and robot calibration. So the cube here has four different ports. Here we have the robot port. This is going to communicate information to your robot and from your robot. We, has, we have the ASI cube port, which will control the ASI cube itself, the vibrations, as well as the hopper. We have the configuration port, which is the port that you'll use to go in and change your different settings, as well as set up your recipes. And we also have the camera port, which is providing power and signal to the camera over PoE. Additionally, on this model itself, we have GPIO. However, this can be changed out to be an adapter card for EtherCAT, Ethernet IP, and Profinet. Now you might be asking, okay, why would I want to put Azrael's vision system on their unit? The iPlus controller is great because they provide multiple plugins for many of the large different robot manufacturers. Just for an example, there's ABB, Mitsubishi, and Fanuc, just to name a couple. Now these plugins provide pre-canned commands that allow you to control the vision system, the cube, and the hopper right from the controller itself. You're able to control your recipes and program recipes and manipulate the vibration profiles, what the system actually sees, and dive into a little bit of deep learning, um, meaning that you're able to see you know, what side the part is on. Uh, there's a couple of different uh, licenses that they provide. So there's dual feeding. If you have multiple hoppers that are feeding a dual plate, and then they also have multi-model, which allows you to program up to six different models on one recipe. Now, what sets this apart is that you no longer have to go in and use a third-party vision system to go in and figure out where your parts are on the plate itself, figure out how to go in and manipulate the plate, and also interface with your robot. All of that is done through the iPlus controller, which is a great solution from Azrael. So thank you for overviewing this system with me and going through and learning a little bit more about Azrael in general. Be sure to subscribe and check the description down below for more Azrael related content, as well as many other solutions that Minuteman Empire Automation Systems support. Thank you.